So you can go from dim all the way up to blast your retinas right out the back of your head brightness. Everybody, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in again. We are back with the Bronco to do a mod on the front end here. And what that's going to be is changing out the headlights. We're going to change out the stock ones from the Big Ben model over to these from Morimoto. You can see it's quite a difference. These are color changing. You can do the halo and the light bar all different colors if you want. We'll show you that once it's all on there. But for now we will start disassembling the front end and show you how you get these things out of there. All right, so to get this started, we have the hood struts on the hood, but you do have to get your prop rod out of the way. And then you want to get this top plastic piece off. So it's basically eight little push pins. We'll pop all those out and this top piece pops off and then we can work on getting the grill out. All right, so now once you get all the clips out, this just pops up and under your intake portion, it just has a little slope downwards. So up, pull out, good to go. And then if you're having trouble to get the portion from under here off, you could see I just pulled it up and it popped this off. But once it goes back on, it could be a little bit of a pain to get it under here as well. This front portion of your intake just has two little clips here and this actually pops right off. So worst case, if you can't get that on there afterwards, just pop this piece off, put the plastic part back on, and then put this on top of it, and it's all good to go. So now the next step, once you have that out, is your 10 mil screws. I believe they're 10. They aren't these back ones. If you look a little closer towards the grill, you have ones here. One, two, three, four pretty much in line with those ones but you don't need to take those off you just need to take the ones closer to the grill off and that is all that actually holds this on other than the clips that go around the exterior of the rest of this thing all right so now that those four screws are out you can see they actually have little guides here so when you put this thing back on eventually it just lines it up a little little easier and now for the rest of this thing basically just grab and give it a little pull it is just all clips, work your way around and it will all come off. If you have the higher models and they have the front camera, there will be a couple of wires here. So before you go and yank this thing right out, make sure you disconnect that because if you pull it, the connection is strong enough not to let go and you're gonna end up ripping the wires out or breaking the tabs, whatever hold those things on. But as for the rest of this, you just give it a pull, work your way around, try not to scratch it. If you have a bumper and a winch in there like this, don't hit it on anything. Pull it, get it out of the way, and then you're ready to work on the headlights. All right, so next step, once you get your grill out of the way, is to work on getting the actual headlight out. You have one bolt here, one bolt there. This little black plug here, you also need to take out. And then of course, there's one behind this bottom trim piece here, just above the bumper which you can't really get a ratchet or anything in there so what you got to do luckily with the bronco you can pop the fenders off in a couple seconds it's really easy and there's a little bolt in here you loosen that off and you can actually pop this out and then same as the bumper it's just a couple clips so you can pull this part out enough to get your ratchet in there and loosen off that bolt and then the headlight should pop right off so there you go it's just a little eight millimeter screw in there get it out of the side and then you can see this pop straight out just a couple little clips there and then along the bottom there's a little couple more clips just runs across so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the other side off too and just take this completely out of the way if you don't want to do that you can fold it far enough back to get at the bolt but if we get this out of the way, just out of sight, out of mind, got lots of room to work, easier to get it on and in, and then we're rocking. All right, so two 10 mil bolts for the top, plus that plug that I showed you. It was an eight millimeter for the bottom hole. And then of course, like anything electrical, unplug your wiring harness, and voila, you got your light off. When you go to pull these out, if it feels like it's stuck, if you look on the back here, there is that little metal piece that's like a little guide a little clip and it goes in there just above that dead bug plugs in there so if you give it a good yank it'll pop out you won't break anything so don't worry about anything being stuck behind this just give it a good pull and it'll come right out and now if you look at the morimoto one you can see it also has that little guide pin put on there so it'll be easy to clip it back in 
you just basically plug your harness back in. That's all good to go. And it should fit just as if it was stock. They do send a little rubber piece for the bottom here. That's to adjust them later. If it's not adjusted quite right, it has to go higher. They put a little spacer on that part. Unfortunately, until these are actually on, it's hard to tell where your lights are pointing exactly, so you'll have to install it first. If you don't like where they are, put the extra piece on, and you should be good to go after that. So basically what we're gonna do, use the same hardware, and just do our steps in reverse. Click your harness in, line it up nice, get this clip in, give it a push, it'll click in, and that's all you need to hang it on there. And then when you come over here, silver 8mm bottom hole, your silver 10 millimeter is your inside top bolt, and then your black 10 millimeter and your plastic clip are the two outside ones. Obviously the clip goes in the square, the screw goes in the round hole with the threaded hole. So we get this all bolted back down. And this is what I mean, if you can't adjust it, they do put a little spacer here. It just lifts this slightly outwards. So you can see, if you push that outwards, the light would tilt just slightly up, but we're not gonna put that on. We'll see how they look first once it's all bolted down. And if it's really bad, then we can come back in here. You'll just have to loosen that bottom one, put the extra piece on and that'll lift it a bit and then you'll be good to go. All right, so here is what new compared to old looks like and if we hit the button start it up you can see it has a fancy little startup design and you can see just how much brighter that is with the halo of course it's pink right now we can change the colors around i'll show you that once we're done but as for right now that's kind of a look from new to old and on a side note a reason to spend the extra few bucks and get the actual light from Morimoto because there is kits where you can basically break your old one open and put these in yourself. One, it's never going to seal properly. This is all sealed from Morimoto. It's a plug and play. If you end up breaking yours open, not only do you have a chance that it leaks and it will fry the wires, you'll get condensation in here. But another reason is if you don't want to keep those headlights, you can actually send these back to Morimoto and they will give you a portion of what you paid for these back because of, I guess they would probably use the housing and stuff to do their own sets. So if you're not wanting to keep your headlights from the stock car, send them back and Morimoto will send you a check for a portion of your amount that you paid so extra money in your pocket for different mods there you go she is all back together you can see just how bright they are we'll go out once it gets dark and take a look at these and show you all the color features and color changes that it can do but for now you can see just how bright they are and how much different it looks compared to stock and then one last thing for aligning these if this happens to be really down or really far up and you need to adjust it if you come in here you look down there the little kind of yellow white looking screw right there you turn that and that will pivot your light up and down to adjust it properly we're not going to do that right now we'll see how they look once we go drive around and of course in the daytime it's hard to align them properly but if you're doing this yourself, that's how you adjust the lights on these things. So should be easy enough. And like I said, from factory, they're probably set up relatively close to where they should be. So I'm not expecting to have a huge difference. But for now, you can see the install went fine. Just easy, rip off the grill, rip off the little shroud on the top, unbolt, unplug, put them back in, throw everything back on and you are good to go. All right, so lights are installed. We are out here in the pitch black and just like the rock lights we installed, this thing comes with an app, same sort of idea. There's over 200 different modes for this stuff. So I'm just gonna show you the basics, but same thing as the other one. You can just roll through here and you can see the lights change different colors wherever you put the little marker. So you can pick and choose what color you want. 
you can also preset colors you got your standard colors if you just want to pick from whichever ones you got here or like you can see you can preset your own and brightness just to show you how bright this is we've got it turned pretty much all the way down so you can go from dim all the way up to blast your retinas right out the back of your head brightness you can see it's almost like a headlight that's even a dark blue so if we were to put it to let's say green and do that you can see just how bright it is i'm sure the gopro is not picking it up like it does in person but if you're driving around make sure you turn this down because if you're the vehicle in front of the bronco you're just going to see this big fireball of light coming behind you so turn it down not all the way down might be a little bit too dim but you can see up and down flip it around all different colors pick and choose what you like and they go nice and easy and you can also set this with music and everything if you have this thing parked somewhere and you want to make it into its own little rave you can hook up the music and these things will change and dance with the beat and same as the other app if you go to all your different modes and styles and stuff you can see flip through here there's tons of different modes they all do different things so of course i'm not going to go over 210 different modes but if you install these you can do that on your own with your own time but as for now, you can see just how well they work and how bright they are. And that is with the lights off. This is just the halo feature. That's not even with your actual headlights on. And now you can see with the headlights on, it is not too bad. It doesn't seem as bright because obviously you have your LED bulb in there lighting everything up. And if you look this way, you can see just how bright they are. We do have to adjust them. I'm not sure if you can see that in the camera, but it's kind of like a little mess up top here so we will have to adjust the lighting eventually but it's not too bad they're pointing in the right direction at least but you can see nice and bright and if you flick on the high beams you can see just how well the leds light up you can go all the way down to the end of the fence there those seem to be pointed in the right direction i'm not sure if that's just because your high beams are so bright or if they're just separate we could just be adjusting the top bulb because you do have a top and a bottom one. So the adjustment I showed you earlier could be just the top bulb by chance, but either way, high beams work, low beams need a little bit of adjustment and the color mode works perfectly. And just to finish off the whole video, this is what you will get. We've got the rock lights installed. We've got the color changing headlights installed. So now when you're out and about, if you want to stand out, this is the easiest way to do it. Nice and bright. I hope the GoPro picks it up like it is in person, but I'm not holding my breath. You can see everything goes nicely together. And of course you can color change both to match or you can have it all dance around with your music. You can pick and choose colors. You can do all sorts of stuff with this thing. So that is what we are at so far with the Bronco build. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and we'll catch you guys in the next video.